The vlogs are back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> look how terrible I look. <laughs> oh, let's go pour myself a cup of ambition. Let's go. <laughs> it's still Christmas in our house, and it is the 11th of January. I'll tell you for free, it was a struggle getting out of bed. This morning. I'm back vlogging as and when I'm furnished for the third time to at least the end of the month. <sighs> Do you know what? I can't pretend like the last week and a half. Basically, 2021 has not been good for me so far. I think I was just like, you know, distracted with Christmas and New Year and then literally, <sighs> is it a week? Yeah, it was a week ago. Yeah, basically the last week since we've been in lockdown, I have not been good. <laughs> I have been struggling. I don't know. I just, I'm losing my sense of humor with it all, to be honest. I've had a good wallow. I've had a good mourn. Ugh, I'm just crossing my legs. Um, yeah, I've had a good wallow. I've had a good mourn. And now, you know, I feel like also for part of me, it was like the uncertainty that I didn't like. But now, like, I've come to terms with what is going to be happening for the foreseeable. So I've been doing a lot of staying up late, sleeping in, because I do want to get those eight hours of sleep, but I didn't say when. Um, so I'm looking to change that a little bit. I'm also going to be back doing my workouts. I just feel like I needed a break. I needed, yeah, I needed a wallow. I'm just repeating myself over and over again, aren't I? Anything else new? So I watched a film last night. <laughs> this is quality content. So my boyfriend and I used to get to the cinema um, on Sundays if there was anything we wanted to watch. We've decided to do cinema night Sundays. Kind of doing like classics, like films you should watch before you die. So last night we watched No Country for Old Men, which neither of us had watched. Listen, it wasn't my favourite film. I don't know what I was expecting though. Part of me is like, I don't want to give a spoiler, but also the film has been out 13 years. So, uh, <laughs> 13? Yeah, 13. it's 2007, so 13, 14 years. Oh my god, 2007 was 13 years ago. 14 years ago. I mean, it's like the very beginning of the year. Oh my god, I need you. But anyway, it's effectively like a, it's described as a neo-western cat and mouse chase. I wouldn't say it's one to write home about, you know. I, if I give it out of five, you know, I love a five star rating. I, the thing is, it's like a two hour film. It's full of suspense. Like you're on the edge of your seat, what have you. But I just found the ending really disappointing and almost like rushed and abrupt for, I think, timing more than anything. Because like, I don't mind when films are like left on a cliffhanger or, you know, are abrupt because sometimes life can be abrupt and all that stuff. Like that's not the issue, but I genuinely feel like because the film had already gone to two fucking hours, they were like, let's wrap this up. Anyway, if you've got any like films I must watch before I die that are preferably on Netflix, um, leave them down below. It's gonna be my boyfriend's choice next week, but I do also wanna watch American History X. Really, really happy stuff that we're going for. Really like upbeat films, um, but I've not seen that either. So, and I know it's supposed to be one of like those films that you should watch, so. Happy New Year. And I will check in with you after I have done my workout. Hey, New Year, new me, party. <laughs> I haven't been outside in three days. And that's my workout done. Oh my god, it's 20 to 1. Where the where has my day gone? <laughs> I'm in my head like, oh, it's like 12. That's not true. But that's the thing with Ring Fit Adventure, you know. I made a whole video about it, so if you're interested in what I've just been exercising, you can watch that. I'll link it down below. It literally takes up so much more time than you think it does. Which I guess is like positive that you're like working out for longer. Anyway, I think I'm gonna fix myself some lunch. Skip breakfast. Breakfast is long gone. I'm eating lasagna. I made it and froze it and it's so good. Like, I filmed it making it for a video. And so, you'll know all about it. It's fucking delicious though. So. Uh -huh.
Oh no. I don't mean to, you know, toot my own horn, but I'm a culinary goddess. Oh my gosh, guys. I definitely meant to check in with you before quarter to one. Remember <laughs> this morning when I was like, I keep going to bed late and waking up late. <laughs> but here I am. I went and had a shower and I honestly don't know where the day went. I started watching with my housemates something called the Pembrokeshire Murders, which is about the bullseye murderer in South Wales. Um, it's three part, it's on over three nights, so night one's done. So far it's quite interesting, it's got Luke Evans in. What I'm doing right now is I'm getting ready for my nightly yoga. Uh, I'm doing the Yoga with Adrienne challenge this month, as well as a morning workout, which I'm working in now, but I'm like literally not leaving the house. <laughs> Two workouts sounds intense, but also like the yoga is more for like just having a good stretch um, and sort of like winding down before I go to bed. I feel like it can get like my wiggles out, like you know what toddlers do. Um, that's what I'm doing, but I'm actually prepping something for another video, which you'll, you should see maybe before this, question mark? Anyway, but what's funny is I'm just like writing down instructions. The most quarantine lockdown thing that I've ever done is a scrap of paper I'm writing some notes down on is uh, what I had for a Zoom quiz. I just like found it under my bed and I was like, yep, yeah, that'll do, I'm sat on my floor on my yoga mat at the moment. And I've got my, my bedside light on, I've also got, can we see, we've got a candle going over here. I've got my dirty towel in the background, you know, really living in a showroom here. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd, uh, I just found this really funny. I just wanted to share. I was like, wow, this is the most quarantine thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna continue writing these notes, doing what I'm doing, which is for something else. Um, and I shall see you tomorrow morning. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? That is not what I saw. Oh my God. <laughs> that is not what I signed up for this morning. Jesus. COVID. You've been stressing me out. That's not what I signed up for. Good morning. I'm gonna make a coffee. I don't want a surprise. I just want you to know what you don't see when I'm like, ooh, I'm making a coffee. It's a little transition to the rest of my day. Is my coffee machine's actually like mega broken. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to do a lot of this, just literally turn it off and on again. And then what I'll do is I'll grind a bit, I'll do this. Stop it. <laughs> and like literal smoke comes out of here. Yeah. So it grinds a little bit and it goes into it. And now I'll actually be able to make a couple coffee it's fun it's, a, it's a, little, a, little, a little game we play together every time i want a coffee it's really really fun it's really fun i'm gonna make it there though got there in the end though didn't we yeah we did i always win and on that note i think i'm gonna make myself some pancakes i bought some oats from tesco putting them on blast um and they suck <laughs> they taste so gross i usually make porridge so i'm just gonna like blend them up and make some like oat pancakes and use it as flour um, it's a pick up lines recipe. <laughs> oh, how does, uh, uh. Um, it's a pick up lines recipe. So I'll link that down below as well. I've used it before. It's great. If I've I've shown me making pancakes before, and it's the same recipe, so that's the one I'm going to use. It take me a little bit longer, but I'm excited. Anyway, I'm going to go make some pancakes. Cue a montage. No.
doing? Uh, I always do this thing where I feel like I talk too much in vlogs and then I do a big fat montage and don't speak at all. So I'm gonna round off the vlog now. Today is Sunday. Um, I'm actually gonna upload it, this video today. So there we go. That's, that's a quick turnaround. Before I love you and leave you though, I, there are a couple of things that I do wanna talk about. First of all, I'm trying out, this is a first impressions of this hair mousse. It's by Umberto Giannini and it's their mermaid hair volume mousse which is like a volume and texture mousse which I put my hair when it was wet and then I plaited it and had a slap so I'm gonna undo this and we're gonna have a first impressions on how it looks together but also film night Sundays cinema night Sunday sorry <laughs> are uh, back tonight so we're gonna be watching Spirited Away I will let you know how that is next week um, and also I've started reading a new book Into the Wild I think M.R. Hirsch is in the um, film adaptation, which I've not watched. It's a book that I've had on my shelf for years and I've just never read it. And I finished the previous book I was reading and my housemate was like, oh, is that the the same as the film? And I'm like, yeah. And I, I quite like, because I quite liked um, In True Blood, um, which was like Truman Capote. And it's kind of similar vibes in the sense that it's like um, a dramatized story that like was born out of like a an article and then made into a book literally like in true blood so although this is about being in alaska um i've literally read this much so really we'll keep you posted on that one um but yes yeah, a little a little judge what do we think because with volume and texture muses depending on how wet your hair is can really play with how disgusting your hair feels so i'm using this as my uh, mirror as well and i do actually have a massive mirror right here <laughs> you know i'm using this tiny viewfinder but you know what because i do love to like just plait my hair if my hair's ever wavy like this it's probably because i put it in two dutch plaits and let it get wavy Ooh, i like it interesting we've still got some volume at the top as well and this is like with no extra product in hmm so far so good anyway i hope you have had a fabulous week and i shall see you again soon bye